Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's RGB here again. And first of all, wishing you all a happy new year. And finally, the Galaxy Watch 4 just got the new One UI Watch 8 update, released officially for all regions. And this is going to be the last major update for Galaxy Watch 4 series users. Well, this watch is almost more than four years old. Well, in this update, Samsung has made a bunch of changes and added some new features this time. But the thing is, this watch is running on a low-power 2-core Exynos W920 CPU, which is pretty slow by today's standards. So, let's see if it can still handle this update and run smoothly or not. As usual, you can directly check for the update on watch and settings, or you can also check it through the Galaxy Wearable app on your phone. Here we can see the update information. It's based on the latest One UI Watch 8 build. The size is around 1.7 GB with the October security patch. It will still get about one more year of security updates by the end of this year, completing Samsung's five-year update policy for the Galaxy Watch 4 series. And if you are using the Galaxy Watch 5, you'll still get one more major update to the One UI 9 watch in future. Also, I've already covered a video on the One UI Watch 8 update on the Galaxy Watch 7, and the features and UI changes are pretty much the same. The same applies to the Galaxy Watch 4 as well, so most things here will feel familiar. You can check out that video from the cards or the description. The only real difference you'll notice is the performance. The newer Galaxy watches like since the Watch 7, Watch 8, and Ultra models come with the new Exynos W1000 chip built on a 3 nanometer architecture, which delivers much better performance and efficiency, and they also last longer on battery. So now let's see how the Galaxy Watch 4 handles this update, and I'll fast forward this process. Also, make sure your watch is charged to at least 50% before installing the update. And, all right, let's install. You can also schedule the update overnight, and the installation will take a couple of minutes. And, all right, it's booted. Let's tap on start. Here we can see the what's new. Like it's same as what we have seen on Watch 7. They completely reimagined the UI tiles theme. Added new one UI 8 watch faces. You can set custom double pinch gesture and they added some useful health features. Now let's go to home. And there we go. We are on the main home interface. On the first boot, after update, it will lag a lot. Like we need to wait for a couple of minutes to set everything up. Like still things here aren't loaded yet. And, all right, so finally the shortcut tiles got loaded. Some things are still loading. Well, we know the processor on this is very slow. Let's go to control panel here. You can see the battery icon changed to pile shaped. And the app screen got updated. It feels bit okay now and it's smooth. Like if you have any unnecessary apps, try to remove them. Like everything is same as usual, like I have shown in that video. In app screen, you can change set the view, to list or in the grid view. The list view shows the app name. But still, I prefer the grid view by choice. So let's go to settings. To about watch. Software information. And here we are. The watch is running on the One UI 8. Based on Android 16 system, on Wear OS 6 version. And the October 2025 security patch. Let's compare this with the Watch 7. Here you'll notice a bit difference. Both are almost feel the same, but the Watch 7 is very responsive and smooth. And here in the Watch 4, you'll notice a bit lag in UI. So anyway, as usual, let's go to Health App. Here they added new workout in the exercise. The running coach feature. And this will analyze your fitness level. The coach will provide training designed to improve your performance but not push you too hard to cause potential injuries. Same, they have included the mindfulness, and this feature allows to record your mood and engage in breathing exercises and medications to help calm your minds. And this is pretty cool, useful feature. And this update also includes medications feature, which is integrated into the Samsung Health app on phone. This will allow users to track their medication intake, receive reminders for medication intake and refills, and access detailed information about medications including side effects and safety guidance. And all other things remain same as usual, like the heart rate monitor and the blood oxygen monitor are the same. No major changes in here. And other additional features like Samsung ECG or blood pressure will work same as usual. And let's also check out some other settings to sounds and vibration. 
It's working fine. Let's go to display settings. Here we got a now bar feature. You already know about it. It appears at the bottom of the watch face, providing quick access to ongoing tasks and essential information. Users can customize the style of the now bar to match their preferences, offering two styles, a pill-like shape and a small circle. In battery settings, here we have sleeping apps, where you can put apps to sleep, which will improve the battery life. There are more like so, let's check out the device care. It's same as usual. Here it displays the watch storage and the RAM available. You can free up the memory by stopping background apps. And as mentioned, here in buttons and gestures, they added double pinch gesture, where you can now customize the actions to access to your apps or whatsoever like alerts and media controls. I already shown in that video. Also in the app screen, you can create add multiple apps into a custom folder. You can rename it and change the folder color. And in this update, they added in watch faces, which I already shown in that video. New One UI 8 features watch faces like Sporty Classic Face, Heritage Classic Face. You can customize these watch faces by changing the background, indices, style, and the colors like based on your preference. Daily Dashboard Watch Face. You can set different activities in the face. We have minimal analog, and this one is my favorite, and the dynamic clock face. You can even discover more watches faces. Explore watch faces based on your preference, like by styles, colors, and themes. As I mentioned, in the shortcuts, you can add more than one tile in a single panel. You can add it from phone or from here. Just add the tile you want. Here I'll add more tiles in a single shortcut. I'll also add my devices, battery widget, media controls, my Galaxy Buds tile. Let's check out the Buds. You can directly add this widget shortcut in tiles. You can directly set to different modes from here. And in Galaxy Wearable App, go to Settings to Manage Content. Here you can auto-sync the albums or your photos to the watch from the phone's gallery. Let's open Gallery on Watch. And as you can see, the pictures are started syncing from the phone to the watch's gallery. You can directly view your photos from here and the photo albums as usual. And if you don't want it, just simply turn off sync albums and photos. And there are some other changes like the new charging animation. Even the wireless charging is still working. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the One UI Watch 8 update on the Galaxy Watch 4. For a watch that's almost four years old, it's honestly still holding up. Yeah, you'll see a little bit of lag here and there, but after everything settles, it's totally usable for daily stuff. Well, the UI looks new, piled shaped theme, the features are solid and Samsung gave it a nice final refresh. And do let me know in the comments on what you think about this update on your Watch 4. And if this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more. And thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.